How are we doing everybody and welcome to Russell Heritage Golf. Today we are going to be talking about a great little exercise, something that 100% you should be doing at home to help you get a feeling as to how the club should be moving in space for the next time that you go down the driving range or play golf. The exercise is simple and I'll give you a different perspective in a moment and I'll move the camera but the idea is that basically you'll grab, I've got a 7 iron here and I'm going to grip it down the bottom end of the club. And the idea is that by the time I put my hands on the club, the shaft should, should we say, be pointing towards my belly button in terms of the address position. Now, the first move in the golf swing is to realign the relationship between the shaft and the arm so they go back into a, like a straight arm lever, if you like. Then what would happen is that from my perspective, I can basically no longer see the shaft because it is hiding under my forearm. That's kind of your takeaway first movement, basically, in the golf swing. Then the idea is that as I kind of start to take the club back to say left arm horizontal, then it would potentially start to reappear, right? So it'd start to stick out the end of the club because obviously the club needs to point more down towards the ball to target line. You would then swing up towards the top and again the point is depending where you are, you'd start to see it. As you transition, again you'll get a strong visual of the kind of base of the club sticking out that you'll be able to see out of your eye line but then as soon as we come in towards the hit it should start to go back underneath the arm so one of the things that we tend to see with a lot of amateur golfers is um, struggling with with playing and, and this would be you know even relative to a decent level of golfer and also um, people that are struggling maybe more than you realize so you know sometimes the thing is we, we try and hit the ball so much from the inside that we actually do end up off playing which then means that we hit it either with a high rate of rotation or we end up flipping on the golf ball and then the problem is is that you're trying to rectify the flip by doing things like holding the club off but the reality is is maybe the reason why you're struggling with the flip in the first place is because you maybe need to spend more time on actually focusing how the club would move so basically what this exercise would do from a side-on perspective is it would help you bring the club back in towards a pre-impact area more like so and then the hit like so because again it stays under the arm as opposed to maybe I can now see it and then it flips over this way. So it's a really easy exercise and something that I'd 100% suggest it's worthwhile you doing at home and then all of a sudden what you can start to do is the next time you go down the driving range you'll get a much stronger feeling of basically what I've been talking about in recent videos as the release. So the point is you'd feel the club more here, should we say in front of the body, as opposed to getting necessarily too far underneath the body. And the way that you need to do this is quite simply just make sure that from your perspective, when you're looking down at the golf club, is that when you kind of hold the club down short, is that in the takeaway position, the shaft of the golf club goes under the forearm so you can't see it. Taking it back, you can't see it. Swinging up to the top, then the shaft of the club would start to materialize then as you kind of bring it down, it would materialize, but then it's this point here, as you can see when we come back in towards the impact area where it goes back under the arm, and then coming in towards impact, it stays under the arm as well. Really good drill to start to get to feel how much rotation and down cocking is needed to get you back onto plane. And again, it's a great little exercise for something which will give you a sense of feeling rather than the idea of necessarily trying to understand exactly how much you need and when. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Catch up with you soon.